Hey there, what's this? Well, it looks like a line with some numbers on it. What else can you say about it? Well, firstly, these numbers are equally spaced or equidistant from each other. Moreover, this line extends in both directions infinitely. All the numbers can be represented on this line and so we call it the number line. Now let's see what all numbers can be defined on the number line. Starting with the number 1, if we start counting by adding 1 to the previous number, we will gain the number set of the natural numbers. Since we can keep adding 1 forever, there are infinite natural numbers and we represent these by capital letter N. Now if you change the starting point to 0 and keep counting by adding 1 to the previous, then we get the set of the whole numbers, which are represented by capital letter W. Now just take all the whole numbers and their negatives. Then this new set is called the set of integers. Integers are denoted by capital letter Z. But there are still many numbers left, right? like half, one-third and minus 5 by 7? What about them? Well, if you take all such missing numbers along with the integers, then these are collectively known as the rational numbers. And these are denoted by capital letter Q. Now, if you are wondering what all these letters mean, here's a table to help you with that. A number R is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q. What are p and q? Here p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. Why do we insist that q is not equal to 0? That's because anything divided by 0 is not defined. Now these rational numbers do not have a unique representation in the form of p by q. For example, you can represent minus 5 by 7 as minus 10 by 14 or minus 15 by 21 and so on. These are equivalent rational numbers or fractions. So when we represent a rational number on the number line, we assume that q is not equal to 0 and that p and q have no common factors other than 1. That is, p and q are co-prime. So on the number line, among the infinitely many fractions equivalent to minus 5 by 7, we will choose it to represent all of them. Let's take an example. Is 0 a rational number? Can you write it in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0? Yes, 0 is a rational number and it can be written in the form of p by q. We can write it as 0 by 1, 0 by 2, 0 by 3, etc. And the denominator q can also be taken as a negative integer like 0 by minus 1 or 0 by minus 2 and so on. Let's take another example. Find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. Okay, so we can approach this problem in at least two ways. The first solution is that we can find all the 5 rational numbers in one step. Since we want 5 numbers, we write 1 and 2 as rational numbers with denominator 5 plus 1, that is 6. So we have to find a rational number between 1 by 6 and 12 by 6. Thus, you can check that 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6 and 11 by 6 are all the rational numbers between 1 and 2. And these are the 5 rational numbers that we are looking for. Now recall that to find a rational number between r and s, you can add r and s and divide the sum by 2. That is, r plus s divided by 2 lies between r and s. So, 3 by 2 is a rational number between 1 and 2. You can proceed in this manner to find 4 more rational numbers between 1 and 2. These 4 would be 5 by 4. 11 by 8, 21 by 16, and 7 by 4. Now notice that in the second example, you were asked to find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. But you must have realized that in fact, there are infinitely many rational numbers between 1 and 2. Let us look at the number line again. 
have you picked up all these numbers not yet there are gaps in between the places of the numbers you picked up and not just one or two but infinitely many the amazing thing is that there are infinitely many numbers lying between any two of these gaps as well so we are left with the following questions first what are the numbers that are left on the number line called second how do we recognize them that is how do we distinguish them from the rational numbers these questions will be answered in our next video meanwhile you can log on to edureb mobile app or website and check out our documents videos online tests and many more for better understanding of not only this topic but also those of other subjects as well